we're going to get on to the next topic, though. Um, there's been some some news about these uh, these complete these officers. Um, they were called the Goon Squad. Now, I didn't really know anything about this particular case, really, until recently. And um, apparently these cops had been pretty much they tortured two black men. Um, and now they're getting their sentence, uh, and they're getting a good, a good sentence. Justice, justice is probably going to be served out of this, but this is really, this is really to show you that demons show up in any shapes, form, and sizes, whether they're in a blue jet, a blue badge, uh, sorry, a, a brown, silver badge, gold badge, blue uniform, whether they're and um all black hoodies they show up in they show up in different sizes in different forms and shoot what i'm gonna say from all of this is this is just pure evil i know you guys might say it's racism but at the end of the day it's evil let's tune into the video and see what's going on with the goon squad well, in Mississippi, two out of the six former deputies are facing sentencing today for torturing two black men last year. So far, a federal judge sentenced Hunter Elwood to 20 years in prison. Jeffrey Middleton will be sentenced this afternoon. The rest of the men will follow over the next couple of days. Now, these men pleaded guilty in August to a slate of state and federal charges. And prosecutors say that the officers nicknamed themselves the Goon Squad because of their willingness to use excessive force and not report it. NBC News correspondent Antonia Hilton joins us now. Antonia, I mean, frankly, these charges are disgusting. And it's something that, unfortunately, some people didn't realize were even happening or forgot that this even happened. And it's not quite as rare as we think. What are the charges specifically? You know, you're right to point that out because one of the conversations happening in Mississippi right now is that for many black elders there, this feels like a relic of what they were hoping was a bygone era, something from the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s in the South that shouldn't be happening today. But what happened that night in January of 2023 is that these five former deputies and one police officer entered this home, no warrant, no evidence that anything was happening there. And they proceeded to torture these men for hours using food, at one point a sex toy, and threatening an execution. And that's how one of the men, Michael Jenkins, ended up being shot in the mouth by one of the officers, who is the officer who has been sentenced to 20 years. So this is heinous, doesn't... Y'all heard that, man? They tortured these men, tied them up, wrapped them up, did whatever they did, and forced them to do things sexually, not only did they violate them sexually, they also shot one of them in the mouth. And these are our cops. These are the people that are supposed to be protecting us. They broke into their house without even a warrant and just went berserk. And people wonder why Heads is saying defund the police. Because we got these type of bad apples messing it up for everyone. This is a sad situation, but I hope that they all get what they deserve. Even really describe how awful all of this is. And on top of all of what I just described, they then tried to plant evidence, guns, drugs on these men. And it took months for these two victims, Michael Jenkins and Eddie Parker, to be believed. And so, you know, there's relief that we're here now. But there's another world in which that actually wouldn't have been the case. It's well, sick. Somehow, Jenkins and Parker did survive. What are they saying about these sentencings? Well, they are pushing for the maximum sentences. And, and it's not just the two of them. It's actually an entire black community in the Jackson area rising up here and saying, you really need to send a message now. And, you know, we have 20 years for one officer. That officer is facing the most serious charges because of having shot Jenkins in the mouth. But they're hoping something very similar is coming for the other five men involved in this. And now on top of all of that, the local DA is going to have to review all kinds of cases in association mm -hmm. with the goon squad. So think about this, you know, th there's the story of just these six guys, but really there is a bigger process here that could take years undoing all the harm that was likely done. And how many of those victims were not believed, right? Incredible. Yeah. All right, Antonia Hilton, thank you so much for your reporting. We appreciate it.
That's extremely sad, man. Six officers going to be locked up. Uh, the person that shot him got 20 years. The others are probably going to get baby time because they just were there as accessories. But honestly, they all should get 20 plus years. For them to even do this stuff and nobody in the group say, hey, I shouldn't be here or we shouldn't be doing this. They should all they should all get the boot. 